Welcome back to Mainframe. This is John, and today we're going to play Summer of 58. So if you want to watch this alone in the dark, it's recommended. This is kind of a spooky, scary, uh, paranormal investigation. It's a short game, about 90 minutes, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I've made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. So he's doing an investigation in a haunted house to prove that it's all in people's heads. Uh, you know, whether it's an abandoned house or a haunted house or any house, if you find a pool of blood, it's not a good sign. <laughs> Leave, call the police. Yeah, look at drag marks. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to a abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there was ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself has never was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory. Of the dead and missing, I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true, and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. So I guess that's him barricading the uh, the location. Oh, I said camp. Amika Games presents Summer of 58. Need to explore the camp. What's this? I can't read it. Read what it says. I need to get a Russian English dictionary. Well, you should have brought one. You're going to come into Russia. All right. So what's the, okay. So we just barricaded that. We have here. What's this? My sleeping bag. I brought a sleeping bag with me as a plan. I can't read that was too fast. What do we have here? Pack of cigarettes? Oh, dictionary. Alright. Alright, what's it say? Take. Alright, so we can take it. I was translated some Russian books in college, and I took a Russian-English dictionary with me to help me with the translation I found it at the local market. Okay, what's this? There's a camera. I could take that. Well, that's better. Oh, zoom in. Zoom out. Okay, so what does this thing say now? Can I translate it now? An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees at the UNOST. Unist, Unist, Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of director Maria Anatolovina. The suspect in this case was a, is a child living in the camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. Okay. So we're investigating. What's this? The fuse is blown. There is no light in the building. Oh, great. Well, here's a fuse. Oh, is that the one I took out? Yeah, I guess. All right. So let's start looking around. Can I grab anything? What is that? Can I grab? Oh, I can. What is that? That's a boat. Huh. Whatever. Mm 
need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give you my shoes in return. No, it's like the urban la urban legend about standing in front of the mirror, spin around three times, say something, and you'll see somebody. I guess every region has their their dark mirror stories, urban legends. When I was a kid, I, I was creeped out by those too, but... Do not throw cigarette butts. Oh, can I grab that? What is that? Lighter. It says I can take it. The lighter is almost empty. I can't always use it. Toilets, sinks. A med kit. We'll take the med kit. What's this? Oh, a bunch of kids. Around 1946. Okay, so this happened, what? Uh, this was before the incident. So this is a previous, one of the previous classes. What's that? Can I grab that? There are legends that there was an orphanage near the camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her. Tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. Oh. But one night, she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. So I guess that's the stand in front of the mirror lady. What's that? Uh, looks like a child's playground set. Maybe, right? Can I read that? No. Alright, so what do we have here? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this on because, okay, what's that? Can I get that? What is that? Oh, Russian dolls. Alright. Even though it's light out, some of these corners are pretty dark. Pioneer grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. What's that? Okay, some more playground stuff. I can't see. What's that? Can I grab that? No. Is a starfish? I was scared. I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her. My friend's Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Stop what? Read the book? No. I can't get in there. Children's toys. I hear purring. Is that a kitty? Oh, a kitty cat. Does someone feed these cats here? Oh, you got kitties. There's one sleeping, and there's another one. What the hell are these? Gas masks. Got some kind of rag doll toy. Is that a rabbit? What's that? A rabbit? Heard something. Oh, good. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if any everything was right, all right there with the children. But no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. Huh. Another gas mask. They got plenty of gas masks. All right, so let's...
something run behind me. Was that there before? I don't remember that being there. I wasn't there. Is that a kitty running around? No, well, the kitties are still there. Wasn't there a rag doll? Or is it that rabbit? <laughs> Something's going on here. People are messing with us. Who threw the ball? Yeah, see, this rabbit wasn't there. It was hanging over the other um, on the chair, I think. Who threw the ball? Hmm. No, they better not be hurting the kitties. Let me mess with the kitties. The cat knocked it over. It'll be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Oh, well, I haven't seen any. I can't get into any of these rooms. Weird gas masks. Look, kitties are gone. Knocked a bunch of shit all over the floor. Crouch. Candles. Candles will be useful when night falls. Thank you, cat. Okay. What's that? Is that the water girl? Or are these the ones that teased her? No date. I have air raid. Oh, this is the Cold War. This is the Soviet Union. Alright, but what year is this going on? Candles. It's gone. All right, someone's playing with us. We got people moving sh stuff around. We go back to the chair. It was hanging on a chair, wasn't it? It was hanging on this chair. Oh, well, there it is. All right, this place is creeping me out. Let's see, what are we supposed to do? I can't get into these rooms. Let's go back here. Well, this is the brightest room. I'm going to hang out over here. All the action seems to be happening over there. I can light the candles now. Alright, that's good. We got candles. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Okay, so grab the sleeping bag. Guess what? Right here. Done. Need to prepare for the night. What am I supposed to do? There's to go to the shower. All right, so we got night one or the first night. night vision to see now where's my camera 
Who closed that door? Dictionary, English Russian dictionary. That we don't have a fuse for that. Phone doesn't work. I read the paper already. Check out this room. Oh, look, there's dead birds. Two dead birds. Three dead birds. Grab that. Who's this? That's not the water girl, that's an old lady. Kind of creepy looking too. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah. I said that it's creepy. Was that there before? I don't think so. Is that can grab that? No. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, it's really dark in there. So we oh, can't get to these rooms. at the window. Somebody knocked on that door and somebody banging on one of these windows? What the hell's going on in here? There's a rabbit. Yeah, someone's playing with us. Someone's in there moving stuff around. Yeah, there. It's not the wind. Can't be the wind. Like somebody's chewing, eating. What's this? Is that a kid on a phone? Is that a dog? Okay, so now who closed this door? I didn't close it. What are we stuck in here now? There's the map. Oh, now the rabbit's gone. Well, now you're back over here. Oh, look at you. That's creepy. You can see the eyes. Alright, let's. Open these up? No. <laughs> scared me. I'll bring it up. Now we can get out. Who the hell is that? Is that the water girl? What's she doing? <laughs> what did he do? He got mugged. He went all the way to Russia and got mugged. 
Goes into an old abandoned house and gets mugged. Oh my head. Probably had too much vodka. How did I get yeah, you got drunk, dude. You got hammered. I need to find my video. You got hammered and you lost your video camera. Okay, so where the hell am I? Okay, so, okay, oh, this is the room. Okay, now I can see the other room. All right, let's check this room out first. Toys. So I guess this is the dorm where the kids slept. Little birdie. Go ahead and go over here. Oh, that's a little monkey. I can't read it. it. Says I need my Russian. Oh, he, okay. So he lost his uh, his camera, his dictionary. But, yeah. All right. So there's a bunch of kids playing a game. Nineteen fifty. Okay. So these are the kids that disappeared. I want to know what that says. I don't have... I'm going to find my dictionary, huh? Right, so we can get into that room. Let's let's see if we can find... We're going to need that dictionary. The rabbit's gone again. Right? No rabbit there. Not in the chairs. Gas mask is where it belongs. The camera here. It's on the floor. All right. Well, the candles are gone. I want to grab the camera. Let me take a look around. So the birds are gone. The rabbit's gone. The creepy lady picture is gone. So stuff's moving around. All right. Says I need to get the Russian English dictionary. Yeah, okay, so. Alright, so we got that. You're not welcome here. Oh, gee, thanks. I hear somebody breathing. Oof. The one who hit me in the head took the candles. I have no. I have to figure out what's going on in here. Need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. I hear breathing. <laughs> Let's check out these rooms. All right, so let me. Humming. Nineteen fifty five opening of the youth children camp. All right, so this, these are the kids. All right, and three years later, we had the incident. All right, so. Let me check out this room. Let's see, there's a note right here, yeah. What's this like? Late at night when people fell, fall asleep, no need for fun or no need for a fool. And the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he had that, that that night. Wearing a sad suit poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool is no longer be fun for you. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Okay. Oh, birdie. Hi, birdie. A pigeon. 
So let's turn light vision on. Let's see in the dark here. No, that looks not good. What do we got? No, no. Well, I guess we need power. Alright, so let's go across. Wait a minute. Was there a gas mask on this earlier? Or last night? Yeah, there was a gas mask on this. Because these things look creepy at, at night. They look like skulls at night. Alright, whatever. So let's go in here. The break. A little breaking and entering. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Big sigh. Looks pretty cool. What the hell is that? Is that a body? Oh, little footprints. Oh, little footprints and handprints. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Let's go take a look. Is that a deer carcass? A dog? Looks like a side of beef. Alright. Anything in there? Be clean, neat, pioneer, show an example and everything. Huh. Oh, we got another dead bird. Two more dead birds. Can we get back? Can we get back there? Anybody behind here? One day, a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with him and even slept with him. The guys began to mock her and mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Here we go, bullying again. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker. And in the coming night, the hare came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. Well, you know, no wonder the Soviet Union was screwed up. Look at kind of, uh, look at kind of, uh, nursery rhymes and stuff they're telling their kids. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's the fuse. Grab the fuse. I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Okay, so we got some stuff. We got stuff. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. What does that say? I don't, know, I don't see any of that. What is that? Oh. Who the hell's that? ghost kid running around. Take it to the sleeping bag. Why am I taking a box to the sleeping bag? So what do I do with it? Take it to the sleeping bag. Oh, alright. Oh, I want to fix the fuse, right? Not the fuse. Alright, so let's 
Turn on the lights. Where's the switch? Nothing. Where are the switches? They're all busted. Switches. Switches, switches. Okay, so this is it. All right, I got a hand. Very good. So we got some lights. Yeah, I don't know what's what this deal is. Somebody eating a side of beef. saw everything in this room we saw everything in that room mask is here bunny is gone bunny's not there not there bunny isn't in the kitchen the bathroom I mean yeah there bunny used to stand there all right so what do we do now I need to go to bed it'll be dark soon all right so what we uh Night two, the second night. Night two, all right, the second night, here we go. Clock stopped at 3.07. Like the witching hour. I don't have my night vision. Do I need to get the book again? I can't see. Oh, let's go. Do we get to see the footage that he's capturing? Do I need the dictionary again? I gotta find the dictionary. Well, let's let's test it out. Yeah, I can read that. All right, so I don't need to find the dictionary. All right, so nothing's happening in this room, right? Let's start our rounds. Let's close that. Let's see. Anything different in the kitchen? Okay, so the dead birds are gone. Grandma's picture is gone. Creepy grandma. That picture's still there. The meds are there in case we need it. Don't need the dictionary. I got my camera. Those kids are there. The Russian doll still there. Yeah, we saw that picture already. So now these doors are closed. Wait a minute, is that mask back? Oh, the radio's turned on. Okay, so that gas mask isn't there. Right? Yeah, it's not there. Alright, so we got a knocking from this door. That stupid radio's on again. Okay, I heard a door. Before we leave, let's make sure. Yeah, pretty much everything's here. Okay, I heard a door. Who the hell was that? the creepiest sound.
Oh, somebody's on the vent. I think. Alright. They drink. Oh man, they got rid of the meat and we got the heavy breathers back. wasn't here before. What box? That? It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. We got the dead birds. We got the old story. Can I read this paper? No. So now we gotta find a key. And the side of beef's gone. Or the deer carcass, or whatever the hell it was. What's going on? There is a spare bulb in the box. Yeah, what the hell's all this noise? The rabbit gone? Yeah, the rabbit's not here. A spare bulb. We got a light bulb. Alright. Yeah, the gas mask isn't there. it all the way up. That's better. So now you're locked. Sounds like running water. There's the rabbit. Not the rabbit? Wait a minute, that doesn't look like a rabbit. Is this box? Okay. What is it? What the hell's leaking? <laughs> oh, shit, that made and the the jester's gone. I didn't get to see that doll. That wasn't the rabbit, that was something different. That was something different. And there wasn't a chair here before. Oh, the... Alright, never mind. Well, who the hell's that? Wait a minute. Well, that's creepy. What is it? It's got four legs. Or is it? Is it a rabbit or a demon? Alright, that made me jump. What the hell was it? Like some kid in a costume? Breathers back. And he's probably behind here. See? Yeah, I'm afraid to look. Closing the doors. <laughs> that ball wasn't there, was it? Yeah, we already know I need a key for you. 
Let's get out of this room. I don't like this room. Alright, so... Rabbit's gone. From 1950, a loud scandal in the in an orphanage for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open in, since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived here. Okay. Well. Okay, oh, I got the key to the box, so let's go do the box. I don't know where the rabbit is. Keep an eye out for the rabbit. What do we got here? Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Night of 58. Well, I guess we're going to see what it was. It was like in 1958, I guess. After a severe thunderstorm, there was no light in the buildings. All right, so back to the flashlight, right? What is this? This is an old flashlight. Is it? Can I turn it on? Okay, so this is what the place looked like in 58. You would think it'd be newer. It looks the same, just cleaner. It was old even then. What's this? No. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself no matter what it takes. So this is the person in charge and her her son, Ivan? I'm assuming. What else? Anything else? That's the picture. Oh, there's a safe. Can we have the safe? Someone found and hid my key to the safe. Oh, well, bummer. All right, what else? That's it. All right, let's... Can we get out of here? Doesn't work. Well, this looks a lot nicer. What are these names here? Kawa, Kata... I can't read Russian. Anton Vakbar... Mawa, Zena. Um, yeah. I forget what's the name of that that alphabet. Cur cur I can't remember. There are a lot of birds. All right, let's see what's inside the room here. Probably another rabbit running around. Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. What the hell was that noise? Okay, so we got a desk open. <clears throat> Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid the, her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. <laughs> All right. I guess that translates into Russian and English. Swahili, Chinese. Box. Oh, look, there's a key right there. The key to the safe. Can 
Can I get out of here? Can I move that? No. Alright, so I have to do the safe. Let's see, do we have a gun or something? Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. Gas mask. You ruined my gas mask. We worked together with Alexei Sergovich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make much a mistake. Now I will not make such a mistake. Because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. Whoa. Oh. And Alex, Alexei, whatever, will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indications from the medical records, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh, so they're organ, organ harvesting in here. And she's complacent because she wants to save her, her kid. She's an accomplice. Uh, I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. Oh, she's going to gas those kids? A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He was has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite. Because he is so similar to my son Ivan, I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy. Although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories. Well, the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. I'm not going to gas a bunch of kids. Do I have to gas a bunch of kids? Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. Really? What if I don't want to? What is that? I can't get out, so I guess... Alright, for the sake of the story. I grew up with that during the Cold War. Test sirens. What is that? Why don't you turn it off? Who the hell's that? There's a gas mask down here. I'm being gassed. I can't take it. So they gassed the kids and the instructor, I guess, huh? What are we doing here? So that's what went on, huh? They gassed the kids and the instructor, but who was that guy? What's this? Can I grab that? Yeah, I'll take that. Dismiss. What's this? Maria's diary. Dismiss. All right. Take my camera. I'll right, we'll take that. All right, so let's get out of here. Gas mask, rabbit. Kitties are gone. We got the heavy breathers back. So we've been two nights and we got to see what went on in 1958. Nothing new here. Dead birds are gone, the lady's picture is gone, the rabbit's not here, the chair's not there. Our candles are missing. I guess the the water girl took it. Gas mask is not back. 
Fuse is still good. Yeah, Alright, so. We got a heavy breather behind the door. What's that? Is that a note? Wait, little footprints. Where'd they go? See, they all go there. Can I move this stuff? Little footprints. I don't know. You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Well, we're outside the door. He's inside the room. So, all right. So Maria's diary, right? No, oh, don't need that. Diary. Take the diary. So we're going to answer him. All right. So I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? So what do I do? Stick it under the door? Alright, so we're gonna do passing notes in class. Am I dealing with somebody or a kid? Saw you. I should try writing the letter again. Am I right? <clears throat> I read that people were killed here. <clears throat> Did you do that? Tell me. And then I can help you. Oh, wait, am I supposed to take that? And then take it and then put it over here, right? out of here. This guy isn't very nice. <laughs> yeah, we got little ghosties running around. All those little kids are gassed in the middle of the night. Uh, let's see. Do I write another note? Dear Bob. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Let me keep taking it. Okay, he's not taking it. They're taking it. Right, let's... like vents upstairs I don't see a second floor All right, so. another note yes 
Here I can communicate with my friend. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things. But my friend helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. Well, let's take that. friend why are they here too okay. am I talking to a live boy or a, a ghost boy I mean if it happened in 58 he should be, should be a grown man now adult. Well, he already answered. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here that day in the evening after lights out. Someone came, probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that, that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Oh, so he wiped everybody out. And so she never got her, she never got her kid, his heart transplant. So he probably died too. <laughs> Who the hell was that? I can't get near that window. All right, let's see. I'm curious where this, where this is going. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Well, let's find out. Oh, dude, does that guy like a skull face? This looks like a skull. Well, I'm going to try to just walk towards it. That is creepy. Yeah. Oh, it's got a... Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> well, that can't be the guy I'm playing. I'm talking to because he's on the other side of this room. Or the other side of the door. He wouldn't be outside running around and answering me at the same time. Unless he's a ghost or something. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us. But I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go out, go to the rooms. So, I don't know how much time has passed between the present, or this investigator's present in 58, but it would seem to me that if he wouldn't be a child anymore, he'd be a ghost of a child. He passed away. That building abandoned, can I get there? Let's find out. We, yeah, let's get out of this building. Getting tired of that creaky, squeaky noise. We got a lot of people running around here. Mm 
There you go around. Jakob doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Yeah, let's roll, man. I'm out of here. This place is creepy as fuck. It's kind of interesting going back and forth. I mean, it's not as dramatic as some other horror games with a lot of jump scares, but it's pretty creepy. I'm going to find out what happened to Yakov. Okay, so this is the third night. Okay, so I can take that to my camera. We we'll need that. I'll take the English dictionary. Why'd you blow the candle out? What's this? I just came here. I need to find proof. Got my backpack and my sleeping bag. So we're ready. Alright, so what do we got here? It's locked. Chained up. Alright. This one's not chained. We got a sink. This one is barricaded. Alright, we can't get past that. Can I read these? No. That can't. Sink. Sounds like there's something just around the corner. What's that? It's a dream catcher. So, what am I supposed to do? I can't get out, I can't go forward, I can't go backwards. This door doesn't open. This door doesn't open. That's a window. That's a chair. All right. Can I get out this way? What am I supposed to do? I can't figure this out. This might be a very short video. Can open. I heard. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I get. Where the hell am I? Tracking something. I can't see what it says. All right. 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents, an orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans. Worked under the leadership of the military. Oh, that's how it went. 
They did experiments on the kids. They did organ transplants. Well, this place was messed up. I can't get out of here. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. Well, yeah, you're stealing people's, or especially kids' organs, man. What's wrong with these people? I guess greed is universal. Door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Oh, we got an angle grinder? Yeah, who the hell is that? This place is a regular. Wait a minute, where's the door? the other day. Very... Alright, so there's a couple of them. wrong but I don't but I have no choice I have to save my son Ivan I was lucky that Alexei Alexei agreed to help I mustn't let him down no one should know about our affairs yeah but didn't he kill her too he killed the kids and her right how come she's not haunting the place I'm sorry I feel sorry for her Ivan. Oh, that was creepy. That was a little doll running away, right? I ran this way. Radiator. Yeah, nothing behind here. Dripping water. Let's see another person up above us. No, oh, let's get out of here. Okay, so which way are we come in? Came in that way. Can we go this way? Oh, you know what? There's another room that had the chain on it. Let's try that one. Wasn't there a door? Yeah, right here. Uh, let's see. We'll get to the bottom of this. Doing our paranormal investigation. Oh, this is just a room. battery died. Oh, 
I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices, and if I'm not alone, as if I'm not alone, I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. Yeah, me too. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. See, that's it. They're hitting the sauce. On the cabinet, on the cabinet way, some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Well, that's just it. Half the, I guess half the workers are just bombed all the time. They're drinking all those vodka. Look, there's two empty bottles there. There's a, a bottle there. I mean, she's really sauced. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, this one is the one. Yeah, let's... Sink. Refrigerator. Read that note. That's a safe. Let's go around here. I hear people chewing. Around here. Okay, so let's. What's this room? Do we go in this room? <laughs> that made me jump. Oh, now we got the bolt case. We had the bolt cutters. Where are we going here? Oh, this is just like a closet. How are we supposed to go, let's go check that door? Window secured. <laughs> oh, great. Now we can't get out. Wait, did it open? The window's boarded up. Nothing over here except for a chair. Oh, no. Oh, now the door is open. Can I read this? the hell is that? I hear water running again. You're pretty creepy. Oh, I can't get out of here? Didn't mean to zoom in on that. <laughs> Enough of these jump scares. First couple of them were pretty good. This is getting a little old. All right, so oh, we're on the other side of the barrier. Okay, so we were in that room er earlier. Off herself? What you, somebody's chewing over there. Oops. Come on, her body 
can I decompose after all these years? I don't know. I see, what's the, what is that? Can we grab that stuff? Death certificate. We're gonna take that. Here's a note. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. What else is this? What's this? Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her and that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question and who was she talk talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else, the death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950, so he died eight years before that. Apparently, she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Oh, so she's the one. But then she... I don't know, I'm confused. Did she gas herself or not? Okay, so where'd she go? All right, let's get out of here. Make sure there's nothing in here we can use. No, no, all right. Wait a minute, wasn't... Where's the door? Is that take oh, I got a knife I can defend myself Pretty creepy, but um, what's that? All right, so, when do I get out of here? Have I got a knife? Anything else? to read. Alright, so am I stuck in here? Does the game break? scared me for a second. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, let's roll, man. I'm out of here. Alright, that was a cheap scare. Right here. Oh, is this the way? Alright, yeah, okay, so the barrier is gone. We're not going that door, not door. This is the exit straight ahead. Yeah, we're gone. later. So are we done with the investigation, I guess? Did we make it? Yeah, so he came back, I guess. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found out and accused of something you did not do. I've taken care of everything. 
I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friend to protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. So I guess this is the end of the game. So that was a pretty good little, it's a short little game. I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live, and there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Well, that's it. This is John with Mainframe. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening, good morning, good night, depending on what it is, where you're at. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.